It was the first thing in the morning. Um, it was, uh, I think, 18 days into our, our tour, and um, it was just a regular thing. Every day we'd been down this road uh, umpteen times before, and by chance I was the one driving. Um, about 7, 7.15 in the morning we'd already had a, a debriefing, uh, and we just set off. That's what I remember, a flash of light and I, I, I woke up um, in the hospital bed. When, since the kind of rehabilitation hospital, um, finding out about Dan, um, we got uh, posted uh, together and we're done two tours of, uh, of Helmand Province together, so um, we were very close. Yeah, sadly, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I lost him. This summoned me just, um, I, I lost it, I kind of lost control of myself. I thought I'd maybe get back into um, into service, but I just, I couldn't. I, I just, I was physically and mentally uh, incapable of doing that. And I made a decision to discharge from the army. Um, I, I was, I was told there, there and then about the course, about um, Civvy Street. So the Ministry of Defence, that there is, um, there's a certain protocol you go through and Civvy Street is an option open for you. It's funded by the British Legion and I think they always take care of the kind of servicemen and they help me every step of the way. And um, I, I, they arrange for counselling, um, how to get um, the best out of me, they, they kind of identified what skills I have that I, that I learned in the army and, and how can I best put that to use um, out in the real world. Um, <clears throat> my decision to come out has kind of caused a bit of a rift. My uh, my marriage to Carly um, has broken down. As a result, she's moved out. She's taken the girls with her. Yeah, I'm devastated about, it, but I realised that was for the best because I was I was taking out a lot of uh, a lot of aggression, and um, and I, I wasn't there for her or for the girls. So unfortunately, she's she decided to to move out. As hard as it was, it's, it was a real wake-up call for me and it was actually the kind of thing that spurred me to, to then take Civvy Street serious and, and to then try and get my life back on track. And, and I think I see this as a, a telecommunications cabling course in writing, but uh, there's no one there to tell me to get up at this time, to kind of shine shoes, to, to press a uniform, to, and that's difficult. I've kind of I've, I've had to grow up all over again. It sounds a little bit strange saying that, but I, I, I do feel a bit lost. I think I should maybe put myself forward for a poster boy because I'm the perfect example of the success of it. It's, it's helped turn my, my life around. Civvy Street has been phenomenal for me, and I think I, I, I wouldn't hesitate in recommending it.